the mistakes, at least in my opinion, that I see being made in education is teachers do not explain why kids are being taught a subject. You know, just sort of get dumped into math and like, well, why are you learning math? What's the point of this? I don't know why I'm being asked to do these strange problems. <laughs> the why of things is extremely important. Our brain has evolved to discard information that it thinks has no relevance. So then, if on the one hand, you're being asked to memorize or learn formulas, um, but you do not know why, then you have this cognitive dissonance. It seems irrelevant, but I'm being told to remember it, so I'll be punished. Picking kind of a, a problem and then using various educational tools to solve that problem, like using math or physics or economics to, to solve that problem, is far more engaging than teaching the tools. You know, it's the difference between if you say, well, we're gonna take apart this, uh, this engine, see how it works and put it back together again. In order to take the engine apart, we need you know, wrenches and screwdrivers and a winch. In the course of solving the problem of taking the engine apart and putting it back together, you learn about wrenches and screwdrivers and all the tools that you need. Um, and then, now you understand the relevance. Uh, this is why wrenches are important. I, you know, whereas if you had a, cl a, a class on wrenches, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, why does this, this not seem that great, you know? Um, so t t tying it to solving a problem is, I think, very powerful for um, establishing relevance and getting kids excited about what they're working on and, and having the knowledge stick.